How y'all doing? Divine kings and queens. Divine jam queen is back. My uh, video cut off on me. <laughs> so, I'm back. Just for a little bit. Anyway. I'm going uh, to um, do some verses. And then um, I got a little freestyle afterwards. So, um, the first um, verse goes, Job 2.13. They sat on the ground with him for seven days and seven nights. Isaiah chapter 7, verses 14. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. First Chronicle chapter two, 29, verse 19. Give my son Solomon, Solomon the wholehearted devotion to keep your commandments, statutes, and decrees. 1 John chapter 3, verses 18. Let us not love with words or speech, but with action and in truth. And, um, yep, those are the three verses. I hope y'all meditate on it. And I wanted to talk about me being celibate. And people being celibate, not just me. But, like, people commenting, uh, yeah, well, what was you doing for you to be celibate? Was you a help? No, no. <laughs> Celibacy is between me and the Lord. <laughs> God, I'm doing something different. You know, it's time for us to put ourselves first and our body first, you know. And I told the Lord I'm not doing nothing until he blessed me with the one that I want to lay down with. Because I'm trying to show my kids and my generation that celibacy is good. And you get closer to the Lord. You're pure, you know. And um, if we teach our kids that, they wouldn't be 13-year-old, 14-year-old, 15-year-old, 16-year-old having babies talking about baby on Instagram. Like, first of all, you don't even know how to be a teenager um, trying to be a mom. I'm still trying to be a mom at a grown-ass age. And they got 13-year-old, 14-year-old, 15-year-old, 16-year-old talking about babies. If y'all was celibacy and practice celibacy, you wouldn't be up here don't know who your baby daddies are and your mom out here acting like it's cute. My daughter, 15, 16, with a baby. Get a freaking uh, college degree and a high school diploma before you start putting up some baby on a... Um, the pictures on a pic that is so trifling disgusting and y'all need to stop <laughs> like teach them about celibacy these young girls need to know about celibacy hold yourself for the one that you really truly love you up here with babies that you can't even take care of you gonna be in some emotional physical mental problem you're not even grown enough to go through teenager stage, much less a mother stage. That's why it's all messed up now. We got to do better. Yes, yeah, celibacy, I'm for it for 2021. I don't care who don't like it. You must need, it must got to do something with you. If you think it's a problem, if somebody want to be celibacy, when there are a lot of people need to be celibacy, like a 15-year-old, a 13-year-old, 16-year-old, they need to be celibacy. celibacy. Not just a grown woman. And y'all sitting here acting like it's cute to see these little girls with these babies. Now, like I said, I was going to freestyle, and I did my freestyle. There go my grown son. <laughs> I'm practicing celibacy so he can know. You be with a woman that's going to hold herself for you, king. Because a queen got to be a queen to hold herself for a king. And know her worth. And that's what our women need to do is talk about celibacy with their children so they can know that it's real and you don't need to be giving yourself and lay down with anybody especially being a teenager you got teenager stuff to do you gotta learn your body at a teenager you having babies at a teenager don't even know your body like uh, uh that's when mental stuff start ap happening so yeah like i said this is um divine jam queen and um i had to put that out there my little verses the um, phone got cut off on me before, but I'm back. And you know, I love you, but God love y'all more. Y'all have a great night. Peace. <laughs>